those who seek learning should know certain essential conditions without which they cannot achieve their goal. First, do not attempt to do so for the sake of profit. You should love learning for its own sake and strive for it. If you value knowledge as a supreme blessing, each new truth you uncover will bring peace and satisfaction to your soul. Memorize well what is new to you and you will feel the desire for new quests and love of knowledge will be born in your heart. Then your memory will absorb whatever you have seen and heard. But if you have another purpose in mind, seek knowledge only with the aim of getting rich, your attitude to learning will be the same as that of a woman to her stepson. If your soul and your mind are well intentioned towards learning, it will be benevolent in turn. It will surrender to you greedily, but it will show half-hearted benevolence to a half-hearted person. Second, study with clear and noble aims, not to acquire learning, so as to be able to argue with other people. Now, arguments within reason help to strengthen one's convictions, but excessive zeal for them can only spoil a man. For lovers of wrangling, will launch into disputes not for the sake of ascertaining the truth, but rather to show off their knowledge and get the upper hand of other people. Such arguments breed envy and not lead to humanity and do not serve scholarship. On the contrary, they simply confuse people. This is a vain occupation of troublemakers. He who leads hundreds astray from the right path is not worth the little finger of one who has brought just one man back to the path of truth. True disputation is one of the paths to knowledge, but a person who gives, gives himself entirely to this runs the risk of becoming conceited and arrogant, and then this gossip. Such a person will not... <laughs> True, disputation is one of the paths to knowledge, but a person who gives himself entirely to this runs the risk of becoming conceited and arrogant, and envious gossip. Such a person will be not averse to slander, backbeating and vituperation, which only lowers human dignity. Third, if you have succeeded in your pursuit of a truth, do not turn back from it, even on pain of death. But if you are not convinced of your knowledge, do not imagine that someone else will appreciate it. If you do not value your own knowledge, how can you expect recognition from other strangers? And fourth, there are two tools that aids the acquisition of knowledge. One is mulahaza, the subtle art of polemics, and the other, muhafaza, firmness in defense of one's views. It is necessary to strive constantly to perfect this, for without them it is impossible to reinforce and develop your knowledge. Fifth, I spoke previously of four harmful attitudes of mine, and among these we named careless laws of idleness. My soul, I enjoin you to beware of this evil. It is pernicious both for God and for man, both for reason and for honor. It is the arch enemy of everything. But there is no place for this evil where conscience resides. 6. Human character is a vessel containing intelligence and knowledge. Develop your character, therefore, by indulging in envy and frivolity, by allowing yourself to be influenced by the words of others momentary passions mm -hmm. by indulging in envy and frivolity by allowing yourself to be influenced by the words of others and momentary passions you may forfeit your strength of character learning will be on no avail if this vessel that receives your knowledge is not sound to attain your goal and be faithful to your duty you should foster constancy on purpose Dissemination and strong will, for this help preserves the sobriety of your reason and the purity of your concern. Everything should serve the cause of reason and honor.